arms on your back, strap in hand, and have the sole of your right foot against the wall. Sole of right foot against the wall, right leg is straight, and just like we did when we were doing all the core and bridge stuff, I want the back of your pelvis on the floor. So for me, oh, that's already a fight to get my foot on the wall and the back of my pelvis on the floor, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you guys. So push the sole of your right foot into the wall, straighten your right leg, back of pelvis is on the floor. You should feel that your inner thighs have to work a little bit and your core has to work a little bit to do this. Bend your left knee, draw it into your chest and place the strap around the arch of your foot, not the wall, the arch. Okay, keep the knee bent for now. Hold one end of the strap in either hand. Revisit your right leg. Push your right foot into the wall, reach your right inner thigh to the floor and the back of your pelvis is on the floor. That's, that's our number one priority, right leg straight, right leg into the wall. Number two priority is straightening the left leg any amount. It's not about tugging the left leg towards the face. It's about uh, reaching the right foot into the wall and reaching the left heel up. Create a little squeeze of the inner thighs towards one another. You guys should be good at this now. <laughs> and then we just hang out here. So the goal of this is not for it to be the most intense stretch of all time. It's to create some power, some balance, and symmetry. Power is not really the right word. Balance and symmetry. And create a connection between your brain and your right and left leg at the same time. Spread all 10 toes, left, left heels reaching up, right heels reaching into the wall. And then just let it feel good. If things are shaking, that's normal. You just did some hard work. Your nervous system is trying to figure out like what you're trying to do here. Take one more breath. Bring both ends of the strap into your left hand. Bring your right hand onto the top of your right hip bone just to remind it down. Okay, right foot into the wall, right thigh bone on floor. Keep the back of your pelvis on the floor like this as you slowly open your left leg to the left. So I know you guys can't see me where you are, but if you could, I'm going really slow. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to cheat it and drop the leg a little bit and then get myself back. So oh, pin the right butt back on the floor. I want your right butt on the floor, your right foot on the wall. Okay, so my right hip is working so hard right now. And my left inner thigh is also working to not fall all the way to the left. So this is like a, a, a ch challenging stretch. I'm making you work here. Right foot into wall, right butt on floor, reach your left heel to the left. Use your core and the strap in your hand to assist you. Fight to get your right side back on the floor. You can put your right arm out to the right to help you a little bit if you need. Oh, take two more big breaths. Back of pelvis on floor, right butt on floor, right butt on floor. Okay, as you breathe, use the strap to bring that leg back to center. Whew. Switch hands with the strap, left hand can go out to the left now. And we just reassess. So again, back of pelvis is on the floor, right foot is on the wall, sole of right foot faces the ceiling. And then keeping your pelvis even like this, move your left leg to the right. But you don't roll the whole spine over. You're keeping your pelvis on the floor. That's how, we, that's how we're mobilizing the IT band here. Okay, so back of pelvis stays on the floor. You're not arching your lower back. You're pushing your right foot into the wall and you're crossing the left leg across your body. When you do it in this meticulous way, you should not have to go more than 30 or 40 degrees before you feel some stuff in the left leg. Bring your attention back to the back of your pelvis and your sacrum. Pin it to the floor, especially the left side. And then spread all 10 toes, relax your neck, and breathe here. And then breathe your left leg back to center, bend your knees so you can remove the strap, and then just take a break in between, whether that means you extend both your legs, you hug both your knees in. If you hug both your knees in, you will feel a difference <laughs> between right and left hip. It's really interesting. You're right. The front of your right hip has been working really hard, 
and the circumference of your left hip has been working really hard. So maybe you feel that, maybe you don't, maybe I'm just nerdy. Okay, let's do the other side so we can relax, okay? So extend your left leg, left sole of foot on floor. Do what you need to do to get uh, the back of your pelvis, the sacrum, that, that big flat bone in the back there onto the floor and take the strap around the arch of your foot. Don't straighten the leg yet. Push your left foot into the wall and straighten your left leg as best you can. And then straighten your right leg any amount. You're holding onto either end of the strap, the back of your head is on the floor, and the back of your pelvis is on the floor. And then you push left foot forward into the wall and you reach right heel up. Shoulders relax. If you're anything like me, <laughs> your body's different side to side. This side is way easier for me. And if it's easy for you, just take it, just enjoy it. Not everything that is desirable has to be a struggle. Revisit your left foot on the wall, left leg straightish, back of pelvis on floor. Bring both ends of the strap into your right hand and take your, right, your left hand either onto your left hip. Let's go left hip for now. Slowly open your right leg to the right. Feel that your left hip wants to lift up, but you're not going to let it, or if you do, you're going to pin it back down. I have to go out, let the leg out, okay, and then we pin left leg back down. You can keep your left hand on your left hip, or you can bring your left palm to the floor, but reach your left foot forward into the wall, reach your right leg to the right, Ooh, and then fight with your torso. This is why we did this at the beginning of class. Get your left ribs back on the floor, your left butt and pin your left side. Relax your neck though. Oh, and reach your right leg to the right. Your core should be working. You should be getting some stretch, even if it's subtle. Take two big breaths, please. Now as you breathe, bring your leg through center. Switch hands with the strap, right palm goes to the floor. Revisit your left foot, push it into the floor. And now a little squeeze of the inner thighs towards one another. Keep the, your right butt on the floor and take your right leg to the left just so you, you feel something, which shouldn't be far if you're keeping that left leg straight and keeping the back of your right hip on the floor. There we go. And then now breathe. Straighten your right leg as much as you can. Of course, if you get any um, nerve electric tingling sensations, move out of it. It's just, it's just information. It's just too much. Root your right hip down, take two big breaths. Maybe one more, breathe in, root that right back hip down, right ribs down. And then as you breathe, bring the leg back to center. Bend the knee, remove the strap, either hug both knees in or extend both legs up. Do what feels good. And then bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor. Since we're so close to the wall, if you would like to take Shavasana in legs up the wall and you know how to do that, go for it. Otherwise, just ex either keep the knees bent and falling together or extend your legs out and find your shape of Shavasana here and start to prop yourself up. So you choose either you're doing your Shavasana uh, at the wall, legs up the wall, or you're just falling into the shape here. Both are good. Make yourself comfortable. Your legs are up the wall. You're only putting in as much effort as you need to to keep them there. If your legs are extended, you're putting in no effort at all. You're just letting them fall out right and left. Your eyes close. Let your jaw relax so your teeth have a slight space between upper and lower jaw and your tongue just falls back in your mouth. 
And just as we began, feel the presence, the weight of your body here on the floor. Feel the temperature of your body. The way that you're taking up space. Again, the weight of your thighs on the floor. The presence of your knees, your lower legs, and your feet. And for these last several minutes, once again, withdraw your attention as if there was a protective bubble around your mat. And all of your attention, all of your awareness, all the information you have for the next several minutes is only within that bubble. Stepping away from everything outside. Highlighting this experience that you're having in this little bubble if that feels good to you. These next few minutes, please just let your body breathe and just observe without doing anything at all.
comfy as you are, but just start to deepen your breath. And then eventually start to bring movement oh, back to your body by extending your fingers, wiggling your toes, and eventually bend your knees and roll all the way onto one side and push yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a moment to thank yourself for having this experience and being here. Thank you. Namaste.